this is Mylene from the Buying Space channel. Today I'm doing a raw unboxing for this small package. But good things come in small packages. This package is from Lydia, who does online auctions. And she sells uh, high quality jewelry. So I'm going to open this up and see what's inside. I think there's some really unique things in here. Okay, gotta be careful. There's a piece, and there's a piece. Oh, look how colorful. Okay, okay. nothing else. Okay, let's see what we got here. This looks like a brooch. Oh my goodness, how beautiful and sparkly that is. Oh, that's going to be perfect for the holidays. I love it. Thank you, Lydia. And guess what? She threw this in extra. Not a penny. Can't see what... Wait to see what pretty thing is in this one. Oh my gosh, there's two little bags. This looks very interesting. Let's see, there's two little pieces in here. It's a, like a music award. There's music notes, and then there's um, the treble clef with notes on it. I wonder what bar it plays. Oh, that's funny. And then at the top, it says uh, 61. Let me see what this other piece is. 
Might be something similar. I tend to buy unique pieces at auction. I bought some award pins. You know, people lose things in life and having them restored uh, sometimes means a lot. <laughs> Okay, this chain has a lobster clasp and it has a little BR on the plate there next to the clasp. And it's a little like a flower, little delicate flower. It's pretty. This is a, a necklace for a girl. I think I know a few girls. <laughs> so, find someone that'll love that. This I'll have to do a little bit more research on and find out where this came from. It definitely looks like some musical award. The 61 hangs below, actually, the um, music notes. Oh, okay. These are for the holidays. What I'm thinking is it well, if it works out that I will use these to put on packages and they're little t holiday brooches have a reindeer and a little gingerbread house and a little heart with the snowman uh, this one has a frog on the back Wears a pin, and this is brooch style, and this is brooch style too. But my thought was to put these on Christmas packages as an additional decoration and to pin them on however they pin uh, on the wrapping paper. And that way they get a little additional pin or brooch uh, for a gift. I thought that would be a better idea than having them as uh, stocking stuffers. <gasps> yeah, this is the one I went all over. I don't collect unicorn stuff, but I've always been into uh, gaming and uh, fantasy, you know, reading when I was, uh, especially when I was younger. And I just was like taken aback by this. That doesn't mean I'm going to go gaga and get a lot of unicorn stuff, but this one piece. I just love. Lydia has a lot of high quality jewelry and I just go and sometimes just spend the entire auction drooling at what she has. This is the very first time I bought for her, from her. Um, and uh, I was able to get um, some real values but most of her stuff is high quality and I am quite honestly priced out of most of the jewelry that she has that I want but uh, 
you know, maybe someday I can get, uh, buy her higher end stuff. These pieces were a good value and they're high quality for, um, what they are. You know, this is a beautiful brooch. It's not 14 karat, but it's beautiful gold home brooch. And it will serve me well. Oh, and this is a very unique piece. This has a lot. This this is really kind of personal to me because when I was a child, I was a Christian. And I attended church, was a Sunday school teacher, junior uh, church teacher, taught in Pioneer Girls, which is a Christian version of the Girl Scouts. But when I was 15, I became an atheist. And this is the Christian fish. And it's got a cross in it. And the little attached fish here are earrings, which you can leave in the brooch you see the earring backs there. I thought this was very unique. And um, put them on there so they stay on the brooch really good. Because I can leave them on the brooch. And in the very center of the cross, there's a pattern too. But I made one of these fish in a shoe box with sand and I drew the fish and then I put the Greek letters that were originally in there in my fish in the box and I had a, a poured plaster of Paris in it and it made the pattern of the fish with the letters in it and I had it for years I had it till but I want to give away my age but it was 17 years ago that it broke and uh, maybe someday I will expound more upon this I think I have a previous video uh, where I bought an item with the fish so uh, maybe I'll get all my fish items together and tell you the story of some of the experiences I had because of that plaster of Paris wall hanging I had of uh, the fish the Christian fish that the Christians used to uh, signal each other uh, that they were Christians uh, because of um, the Romans would take them and actually, I mean, talk. this is real persecution, they would take them and feed them lions or have them fight as gladiators, but uh, they were killed for their faith uh, in Rome. So this um, is the symbol they drew on the ground maybe not with a cross in the middle but with the letters or maybe just sometimes the fish to poop on the situation to know that they were with another Christian and they could freely speak about God but that's why I ordered this and um, I don't know if I wear the earrings the earrings are really really small but you know having them on the brooch itself adds to it so uh, thank you so much Lydia for getting me these things that you know that, that are sentimental to me actually and I've never owned them because they remind me of things uh, from my past this little uh, thing here with the band um, it's not the exact year but my father was in the band and my brother and I was in the band briefly uh, but the music was part of our family history so that means a lot too maybe I can figure out which cousin <laughs> was graduated in 61 I have so many but and also thank you so much for this beautiful Christmas tree oh my goodness 
all these wonderful pieces and I got them at an extreme value I couldn't believe it seems like with my luck I'm hitting auctions right <laughs> but anyway if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more unboxings uh, by me or more Bible readings or product reviews that I've been doing or just uh, sometimes I'll film briefly things like geese walking in the rain <laughs> uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then hit the all on the bell and that way every time I post a video you can watch it and if it's kind of video that I make that you don't like just skip it don't unsubscribe my goodness go ahead and just wait for the next video to post because it might be the video you want to see some of them you might not like some of them you might like so anyway have a wonderful wonderful day everyone